I am disgusted by the criminal Roy Moore, and you should be too. He has everything that is wrong with politics and evangelical Christianity today. I'll get to that in a moment. First, it's been a crazy few weeks with uh, Robert Mueller indicting several members of Trump's campaign for what it basically amounts to treason, colluding with Russia to win the election. And Flynn has turned state's evidence just uh, a couple of days ago and that he, in fact, talked with Russia. And, of course, uh, Trump is trying to spin it like, no, no, I had no idea. Liar. I think it's hilarious that Fox News continues to rail on against Hillary Clinton about what a criminal she is, but ignores Trump. Don't get me wrong. It all it was also revealed a few weeks back that Clinton colluded with the Democratic National Committee to ensure that she was the Democratic candidate in the election. But now she's probably wiping the sweat off her brow because she is not about to be impeached. The two most corrupt politicians in American history ran against each other in the 2016 election. Criminals, both of them. Both of them should be locked away. That would be justice. But this is not the time for justice. If it were... Then the criminal Roy Moore, who was twice removed as a judge and continues to prove that he doesn't know anything about American law. I had a conversation uh, with someone on on Twitter who was saying, oh, no, he does know uh, law and showing that he 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 uh, uh, stood up for what he believes in proves it. I'm like, no, no, that is stupidity. (laughs) I'm the opposite of knowing what the, the the law is about. I love, you know, I am a Christian. I believe in separation of church and state, though. The church does one thing. The state does another thing. Jesus was, I'll get to that in a second. Jesus was the same. So it it's, blows my mind that people think that is, that that's actually the law. No, it's not the law. Yes, that's following his beliefs. Um, getting on a tangent here, but um, he, it would be absolutely amazing. It would be justice if... Uh, this, if he was actually convicted or kicked off the polls uh, or demolished totally because he's a horrible person. The American Const- Constitution did a, a big thing when it was set up. It made a distinction between the separation of church and state. And this is different from many other countries around the world, like Iran, where the church is the state. Some individuals, like the criminal Roy Moore, wants us to be like Iran. That's what he wants. He wants us to have a basically Muslim country. So uh, a totalitarian Christian nation. That's what he wants. He wants to enforce his religious beliefs on others. And I'm not talking about what Christians believe because Roy Moore is no more Christian than the ruler of Iran. Jesus said, you who are without sin cast the first stone. Instead, the criminal Roy Moore thinks he is Christ. He has decided who are the sinners of the world and who are they? Anyone who believes differently from him. And he wants to force his beliefs on you. This is not the role of the American government with separation between church and state, nor is it Christ's who said, render unto Caesar what is Caesar's. Jesus said, religion is not politics. So anyone who tries to insert it into our government is both a hypocrite, anti-Christian and anti-American. I am very certain that when the criminal Roy Moore comes before Jesus Christ, Jesus will look at him and say, get out of my face. You don't know me. I preached love. You preached hate. You are an abomination. He is one of the many who are saying that there is a war against Christians in this country. And it's true, but it's not by the, it's not by the atheists or the Democrats or the Muslims. It's being held by fundamentalist Christians who corrupt the Bible. They are the Pharisees. (laughs) Read the Bible. Lucifer was an angel of light. He is a deceiver. Where did Jesus ever say hate someone else? Never. Jesus preached a message of love. He took the Ten Commandments, the Ten Commandments, the Ten Commandments that Roy Moore decided to uh, emblazon on uh, on uh, uh, in his office. Uh, he put those and copyrighted. Uh, he had trademarked, I guess it was actually. He took those Ten Commandments. This is the law of uh, Christians. That's not what Jesus said. Jesus said, oh, ignore the Ten Commandments. This is what they, they are all about. This is the, the basic premise behind the Ten Commandments. Love God and love your neighbor as yourself. That's, the, that's what the, all the Ten Commandments are based around. That's not what Moore preaches. No. He says hate people. He says hate people because they are sinners. You know what? You're a sinner too. <laughs> We're all sinners. So, so saying that is a hypocrisy to the fun, biggest thing. It's the Pharisees all over again. 
Paul was the apostle that an apostle that never met Jesus, but he was the one who set up the Christian church. I'm not saying that Paul was a bad person. He was a trying to establish rules for right and wrong in the church, not in our government, in the church. Many people took his teachings as the word of God. And then much like the Pharisees who Jesus condemned, perverted the message of God, love. This is the message of the New Testament, love. If you're not putting love first, you are not putting Jesus first. If you are sharing a message of hate against LGBTs or blacks or Mexicans or other Christians or Muslims, then you are showing hate. This is the work of the devil. This is against Jesus's teachings. The criminal Roy Moore is a disciple of Lucifer. He hates you. He hates Alabama. He hates America. He hates anyone who votes for the criminal Roy Moore is voting for the devil. I'll just say it. I don't know if anyone else has said that. I don't care because I am convinced that he is a horrible, evil person. This is not a person who should be be a part of our, our government. That's far. If, if he was, if he is a good person, I, I will take a step back and I will apologize big time if he steps down from the Senate race, because then I will believe him. I will believe that he cares more about people than about his own perverted religion. And, Perverted, of course, can be used quite easily considering his uh, state with minors, it seems. Since, of course, in the past few weeks, he's been accused by, what is it, nine, ten, ten women. I'm going to say ten women uh, for indecency towards children. Okay, we can call them teenagers if you want. He uh, he was hitting on them. Uh, and I say ten because only nine actually came forward and complained about it. The tenth is his wife. So who he met when she was 15. Yeah. So there's the evidence for everyone else. <laughs> you want proof about whether Roy Moore is a, uh, uh, a criminal. Well, there you go. You have your evidence right there. Not everyone's going to believe it, especially if you are, um, Republican, I guess. I don't know. I don't know if it's just, if it's a Christian thing or a Republican thing. There are a lot of Republicans who are stepping up for Doug Jones, which I am so happy to hear. I want to see more videos of Republicans saying, Roy Moore is despicable. No one likes him in the state, aside from the evangelical Christian community. And it's going to be, uh, we're going to see what happens in the days to come because, you know, <laughs> everything that Roy Moore does, it's, it's like, uh, it's the opposite of Midas's touch. It turns to putrid ash. <laughs> I mean, you, you look at what is it? He uh, apparently he published some sort of a, a book recently regarding uh, women saying that he the women should basically belong in barefoot and pregnant at home. Uh, they should not have any place in our government. Which might seem kind of weird that our governor. Is it Kay Ivey who's who's basically still supporting him even though she knows he's a pedophile? Okay. Doesn't say much for our governor. Doesn't say much for Alabama in general. So I am hoping that uh, people will look at, at this criminal who is running and uh, make a change. Now, Doug, Doug Jones is, man, what an, an outstanding, upright person. This is a person that you can get behind because he is a person who... Uh, is doing wants to help Amer- Americans and Alabamans. I, I don't know exactly what he's going to, how he's going to vote when he gets into office. He is a Democrat, but he is a good person. You want a Christian? I don't know what his beliefs are, but he is a Christian by his actions. That's how you tell who a Christian is. Someone who who stands up there and and lies and, and lies outright about what they know to be false. We all know that Roy Moore is in, was, at least was into teenagers. It's, it's a, everyone knows it, whether he still is or not, hopefully not. <laughs> uh, but he was into it. <laughs> he got a little bit of power and said, hmm, the people who I can manipulate the easiest are teenagers. Now he's saying, hmm, the people I can manipulate the most now are evangelicals. Suckers. <laughs> That's what he's saying. <laughs> he's laughing at you. He's laughing at anyone who, who who's voting for him because he's laughing all the way to the bank, which is evidenced by the fact of his his crappy nonprofit, quote unquote, which uh, is basically embezzling money. So uh, <laughs> what about this guy is good? I have no clue. 
And I know what it basically boils down to, the same thing as Trump, is that, you know, I have plenty of people that I know who, who, who look at Trump and they're like, oh, he's a good guy. Well, I, I don't understand how you could say that. Just from his tweets alone, there's nothing, zero about that, unless you happen to be uh, on his side. In which case, you know, that Kool-Aid pretty, tastes pretty good, huh? <laughs> it's not when you're in a concentration camp. But Doug Jones, on the other hand, has he, what has he done? He's stood to fight for righteous values throughout his life, for civil rights, for women, for minorities, for poor people, for the middle class. This is what it's all about. It's it, you know, the the tax the tax thing just came out, and I'm I'm livid about it, and I don't understand how anyone. Who wasn't being ha, doesn't have a, a a corporation in their pocket? I should preface uh, how anyone could actually support this tax. I understand that there needs to be a, a change in the tax code, totally, one hundred percent. And and you know what? I don't I don't mind even changes. Some of the changes, uh, you know, uh, I think the what is it? I think the Senate wants to lower the tax rate for corporations to twenty percent. Mm, that pisses me off. Whereas the the House is a little bit more respectable uh i don't know how much i don't remember how much more respectable but it was better the rich you know it just makes it really easy what is this uh, uh, a tax break for people who own jets what the hell how is that useful as a tax cut i mean as a tax that's just that's obscene that is obscene i i I know that's a, a minuscule thing in the grand scheme of things but it is obscene people are what matter here you know and, uh, you know, giving millionaires, billionaires a tax break, they don't need it. It's just greed. It's our congressmen who are making lots of t- of money in Congress saying, hey, I want a tax break, too. Thank you very much. Yeah. <laughs> but but that's not that's not actually helping anything. It's, it's hurting our economy. I think, what is it, a trillion dollar in, uh, our deficit? I haven't heard of what our, our national debt will be because of this problem. But um, uh, I understand it's also, you know, trillion. So so basically, I should point out that uh, if Trump approves this, then once again, he has lied to you. He has lied to the American people because he said he was going to cut the deficit. He said he was going to cut the, the national debt. And uh, we'll see. We'll see what happens in a... Uh, at the end of the month when he takes this this bill that comes before him from the House and the Senate. And if he actually says, no, 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 which he's not going to, because you know what? It's affecting his bottom line. What it, I think I saw that a couple of his uh, properties are suffering and they're starting to close down because no one likes Trump. The only place that's, that's really succeeding is, uh, what is it, Del Mar in Florida, because, well, he, you know, he, he brings all his, his <laughs> the U.S. Uh, the government is basically paying for his vacation and supporting that property. Yes, he has crap. He's a crappy business person, too. Okay, I I got more important things to do than rant on this. I'm going to play a little bit of a, I'm going to play a few tracks from, we are right about around Christmas. So I'm going to play some Celtic Christmas music. Got some music from Tom Morley. Got some music from Chambliss and Muse. And I'll play a track for myself. I hope you enjoy the music and uh, go call your, your congressperson, whoever they are. Oh, uh, I was going to be about to head on to the new net neutrality rant, but I've gone on way too long. I got to get work, get to work. So, all right, I am done. I'm out of here. Talk to you later. Slancha.
the stars in the sky look down where he lay the little lord jesus asleep on the that I can't describe and troubles I could not mend yet as the year comes to a close my heart begins to yen for days of old and folks long gone my thoughts go back to then long ago the yule bells rang I still recall their chime oh to be back in the Shire again now that it's Christmas time long ago the yule bells rang, I still recall the chime, oh to be back in the Shire again, now that it's Christmas time. To find myself at home once more where life was so slow and sweet. Amongst the hobbits whom I adore, old friends I can't wait to greet. The bell ringer lads made their rounds as the sun sank into bed. Farthing to farthing echoed the sounds till the moon raised up his head. Long ago the yule bells rang, I still recall their chime. Oh, to be back in the Shire again, now that it's Christmas time. Long ago the yule bells rang, I still recall their chime. Oh, to be back in the Shire again, now that it's Christmas time. In Buckland, Tuckboro, Bywater and Bree, every fireside was alight. Warmth and comfort provided for free Crackled loud and flickered bright With kith and kin gathered at side We gave thanks for all we had We're home 
home and hearth and peace abide, our hearts were ever glad. Long ago the Yule bells rang, I still recall their chime. But it be back in the Shire again, now that it's Christmas time. Long ago the Yule bells rang, I still recall their chime. Oh, to be back in the Shire again Now that it's Christmas time I'd sit me down and name my pleasure Mug of beer or vintage rare Rings of smoke blown at leisure Sup a favorite hobbit fair Six days of feasts and frolicking fun Songs and stories to delight Rich or poor we all shared as one Danced and reveled long into the night Long ago the Yule bells rang I still recall their chime Oh, to be back in the Shire again Now that it's Christmas time Long ago the Yule bells rang I still recall the chime Oh, to be back in the Shire again Now that it's Christmas time